mark with Rogue Side. Oh, 
offshoot of the Reekwater gang called the Mud Nicks. Turns out Aurelia Hammerlock offered one of the rogues the Eden 7 system in exchange for a key fragment. Don't know who yet. If you don't hear from me, buddy, then assume the worst. I'm either dead or captured. But come find me anyway. I'd do it for you. Quietfoot's a crazy bastard. <laughs> we go way back. You gotta find him, Vault Hunter.
cultists are running an organ trafficking ring, slicing up poor SOBs and selling their parts all across the galaxy. So, I set up a ship scanner so I can track the shipments. Wouldn't you know it, that ship scanner is broken. You're gonna have to climb that crane to fix the darn thing and get it into position. Then I can track the ship. Appreciate it.
You know, despite being betrayed by one of my own, it feels good to be back in the field. Even vicariously. That's a fancy word to learn from that nerd I kill. Helpful guy. Maybe should have chatted him up a little <laughs> now the hunt still rages
small fortune to turn against Wainwright, y'all. But I didn't take it. Montgomery... Jacobs was the closest thing to a father I had. But those Calypso twins murdered him. And Aurelia helped. So when you and Wainwright are ready to make a move, you let me know. And for the record, I ain't in it for the money. Vault Hunter, I am told you have recovered another vault key fragment. Please come see me on Sanctuary. Aesthetics are indeed important. Is this thing on? Test, test. Hey, Vault Hunter, have we got an opportunity for you? You don't want to miss it! Not Lilith. There is enough fighting going on out there. 
This may not have been the family you signed up for, but it is the one you have. Janice, I... She'll figure it out. So what now, Lilith? Wainwright knows where the final key fragment is. We go for the vault. This time, if the Calypsos come, we'll be ready for them. Wainwright seemed pretty revved up. I can't blame him. Who wouldn't jump at the chance to take back what was stolen from them? Good luck, Vault Hunter. Don't worry, I got this ship on lockdown, baby. Vault Hunter, I got the fire in my breast and a gun in my hand. We gonna take back the last key fragment and I figured out where it is. The Jacob's Powder Cellar. What is a powder cellar? Well, that's where my family cascades our signature gunpowder. My father must have hidden the fragment in a barrel of Grand Reserve black powder before the Calypsos arrived. Clay knows a secret way to get in. Go and meet up with him. This'll require a two-pronged attack. Vault Hunter, while you infiltrate the cellar, Alistair and I will slip past the Harpy's zealot guard. Tonight, we take back Jacobs. Here, here. I'm over by the waterfall when you're ready, Vault Hunter. Let's go kill some zealots, y'all! Hunter. I cannot excuse Aurelia for what she's done to Wainwright and the people of Eden Six. She must answer for her crimes, but she is still my sister. If I could speak with Aurelia face to face, I might convince her to surrender. Enough blood has been shed. Sometimes the bonds of family can be repaired. I ask only for a brother's chance. <coughs> Over here, Vault Hunter. Follow my lead. Montgomery Jacobs showed me this little side entrance back in my smuggling days. He was a great man. And I owe it to him to see that the Jacobs Corporation gets back in Jacobs' hands. Wainwright will make a damn fine head of the company, assuming any of us make it out of this alive. 
Let's get a move on. Here we are. This passage seems inconvenient. A party trick, perhaps? Yeah, Jacob's family loves their secrets. This passage will put you right underneath this state. Stay smooth, operator. That passage should have put you smack dab in the powder cellar. The barrel delivery pipe ain't far. Get moving and watch your stray shots. Ammo! Without it, you're just a slug with a paperweight. Go on now, get! Fish with a code on it. That'll be the answer. 
Alistair, read me the clues and I'll solve it. I'm hardly in the mood to... Oh, fine. Here, Eagle Crab 7 Windigo. This is the fun part, Alistair. Try and enjoy it. There, the code's in. Vault Hunter, hit the request button. This time for sure. Double incorrect. Tails, bells, the fish was a red herring. Watch out for more zealots, Vault Hunter.
This wing of the house has been poorly tended to since even before the harpy got her frigid claws on it. My father considered groundskeepers to be a useless frivolity, like lullabies or birthday parties when all I wanted was a damn clown who could tie balloon animals. As your brother, I implore you to stop this. Step aside, Alistair. While I trim the last loose end of the Jacob's line. If you want to kill Wayne Wright, then you will have to. Yes, I know. giving her every chance and for humoring a blinded fool of a brother. Your wounds, are they dire? We will survive the trip back to the lodge. It's up to you to finish the task, Vault Hunter. Right, the vault. To reveal the entrance, you'll have to solve some light statue-based riddles out in the gardens. The only puzzles I enjoy are putting skeletons back together after I have removed them from their owners. Oh! Oh, I do apologize. Are you hearing this, Alistair? The Vault Hunters lost all whimsical intrigue. Forgive when he gets cranky when he's been shot. Do just try solving the riddles, Vault Hunter. The first statue is out there on the terrace. Once you clear the path to the vault, I will join you with the rest of the vault key. That's the founder himself, Singleton Talbot Jacobs. Quite the eye for detail he had, even if it caused him to miss the big picture. Listen to the recording for a hint. Singleton was keen with tools. He kept a wrench in pocket to finally tune the tools of war that caused his sails to rocket. He peered too near at a marksman's gear, and the bullet went right through his socket.
Six was a nervous man who never left his room. The outside world was full of those who surely met him doom. While his concentration was on ruination, the gun at his back went kaboom. shot in the back, doesn't it? Maddox was a nervous man who never left his room. The outside world was full of those who surely meant him doom. While his concentration was on ruination, the gun at his back went kaboom. Sounds like he was shot in the back, doesn't it? <sighs> Old Maddox spent so much time looking out the window, he never noticed that his butler was plotting his demise. Uh, got drama. The final riddle is in the greenhouse. Keep the tensions first, it's good for your feet.
Fighting.